Hey everybody, my name is William Smith, owner of Outback Forestry. We're located here in Carrollton, Georgia. We proudly serve uh, all areas of West Georgia, to Fayetteville, Georgia, Noonan, Sharpsburg, Peachtree City areas, as well as uh, down to Henry County and parts of East Alabama. I'm here today to educate some people um, who may not know what forestry mulching is. It's a question that we get all the time from my, whether it's a residential or commercial customer. And I feel that a lot of people can be confused um, if you're not as educated as to what services a company like ours provides. And I would love to take a minute of your time just to explain and educate you. Whether you use us or use somebody else, I would love you not to walk into this process blind and have a little bit of knowledge behind it. First things for starters, uh, not all forestry mulching machines are the same. There's many different uh, models, manufacturers, and uh, types of equipment out on the market today that somebody can market and try to sell you on that is different uh, than something that the company right beside them may be operating. Um, we've got about eight years experience in the mulching industry here in West Georgia along with many people and team members here at Outback Forestry that have many more years of experience than myself. And we have worked together with many manufacturers over the years and engineers and support teams and learning what forestry mulching is and what applications certain teeth are used for and different machines are used for. Let's just take a moment to kind of tell you uh, about two different styles of teeth. This is the biggest difference between mulching heads. So we've got a knife style tooth that has a sharp edge, or it may be a blade style tooth. Some manufacturers call it that. It's got a sharp edge on it, and it actually cuts away at the material versus beating it like a hammer. So a knife style tooth, imagine an ax cutting something. It's gonna chip away at it. An ax is gonna cut much more efficient. It's actually making a defined cut into it. And a knife style tooth has to be sharpened. Sometimes a, a Operator may sharpen it every four machine hours, eight machine hours, or 12 machine hours, depending on what the terrain is like, what the vegetation is like, and what may be on the ground. And the second type of tooth that is very common is a carbide style tooth. This tooth does not have to be sharpened. This tooth is, lasts a very long time. They may last as few as 100 hours, up to 500 hours, depending on what the terrain and material is like again. Uh, carbide teeth are great for rocky areas, sandy areas, areas that uh, have maybe um, impervious material that is very rough, something that would actually chip a knife style tooth. Um, but carbide teeth on a smaller horsepower machine actually are not very productive at all. Imagine a hammer hitting a tree, just the back side of a hammer. It's not really chipping away at it, it's just beating at it. Where a knife style tooth is like an axe. So let's compare an axe to a hammer, okay? So obviously the carbide has its purpose in this industry. Like our tire cap machine, it's 370 horsepower. A knife style tooth would get worn out way too quickly on that machine. Versus a carbide tooth would last a lot longer and keep momentum when going into material. And so that is why we run carbide style teeth on our larger horsepower machines. Now a knife style tooth is ideal for residential applications on a skid steer or compact track loader machine. When hiring somebody, say you've got a property that's a quarter acre, half acre, or one acre, and you're just trying to take out the privet hedge or the small invasive trees, the scrub brush, you're going to want to more than likely use a skid steer type of machine. And that machine, you're going to want to ask that company who you're hiring, does it have a knife style tooth? Does it have a carbide style tooth on it? Because the production rate's going to be totally different. You're going to get twice the amount of production, a better product out of a knife style tooth. Another question too is to ask them about the rotor design on that mulching head. Does that rotor have depth control rings? A head here in the video with depth control rings, basically it's making that tooth take a half inch bite to a three quarter inch bite, allowing less material to come into the head at one time, producing a finer mulch and allowing 
the machine to keep RPMs up. Whereas a traditional rotor without depth control rings, like the one here in the video on our tire cap, it does not have depth control rings. It's taking a four inch bite. So that's another question. So on a residential application, back to this quarter acre to one acre project, you wanna ask about the rotor. Do we have a depth control rotor? Are we running knife style seats? Ask these questions, get these answers, because I can assure you that they will make your project go a lot smoother and a lot better. Everybody, thank you for tuning in today. My name's William Smith with Outback Forestry. Again, if we can help you with anything, we'd love to answer any of your questions. Just give us a call. Thank you.